Hi. In this video, we will be taking a look at um, how to better uh, make use of uh, anchor tags uh, and links, or uh, to rephrase that, how to bind anchor tags to earls. So, on the moment, the way we have it uh, for the data packs is uh, people either uh, people enter their earls, their keywords over here. And I will then use these and scrape uh, long tails uh, and use that also then as the, as the keyword or the anchor tags. And then people will then upload their owls and then the owls uh, will be, the anchor tags will be randomly assigned to to owl. So in, in theory, if we take a look at, um, I have uh, this website over here. Uh, so basically, until now, the way it was, we will take all the earls from this website. Uh, you see all the earls here, and uh, the earls then uh, get pasted into the list here. And, um, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, people had the option to either upload their own anchor text, uh, which they will then normally give me like this. Um, and then they will uh, upload the anchors here. But the problem with this, this uh, doing it this way, because some people only have one O, that, that then is fine. But if you're trying to promote an entire website, um, Obviously, if we now take a look at uh, that old list again, uh, or that website. Let me uh, get that website again. This is a Thailand travel website. And these are destinations within Thailand. Like this is Bangkok. So everything uh, in this category, obviously, uh, will be about Bangkok. Bangkok bars, Bangkok hotels. Bangkok restaurants. So obviously, we want the anchor tax that goes with uh, with uh, the link for Bangkok. If you look at the bottom left, there you will see the link. Uh, or if we go to the earl list, it's the Bangkok one here. Obviously, we want all this the the keywords or the anchors that we are used with this to be related about Bangkok. There's no need, there's no, it doesn't really make sense if we say have a Phuket or any other Pattaya or any other uh, Thailand uh, town anchor text in there. So, um, therefore, if this all gets uh, bound with, say, any of these other ones, it won't really make sense because people will see an anchor uh, for, say, Karl Luck, and they will click on the anchor, Karl Luck, but they will end up in Bangkok section. So, how do we do that? It's pretty straightforward. If we take a look at the GSI search engine anchor, um, we can add earls with anchor. I'll give you an example. HTTP test.com. Okay, we want this all, and then it asks for the anchor here. We can now type in here uh, bang cock bang bang cock travel okay and you see it will add it in like that the this anchor text will always be used uh, with uh, with this O so it doesn't matter if there's other anchor text at the bottom here when the system see this O or pull this random O uh, it will always use that anchor text but you can go one step further and place 
maybe you let's just say this is a make it bang rock travel dot com so let's say you're just promoting Bangkok travel let me just I'm going to uh, pause the video for a second here and then I'll show you something uh, where I have related anchor text with for Bangkok travel um, if you just give me a second I will find, uh, okay I'm back basically the code how this works looks like this um, you have an O followed by the dash sign and then the anchor text or you can have many anchor tags with an O so you can have Bangkok travel and Bangkok restaurants Bangkok uh, travel Bangkok uh, hotels Bangkok nightlife Bangkok bars whatever in that case it's going to look like this uh, Bangkok and now every time it will randomly take one see this is the list I have of keywords which I then placed in syntax and I added in front this part don't forget uh, this little sign it should immediately after the O follow by that sign okay and then what what uh, what you do is uh, you go to here yeah, import from clipboard and it will show two O's imported now if you see here yeah, it added that O uh, like that now what you also will be able to do is um, in the next day or so I will add a section here bind anchors with O's upload so you can upload your file uh, with your earls that are binded uh, to the anchors uh, then I will import that for you um, we go back here if we instance this Thailand site what I can do is I can just use the the main earl if I want and uh, do something uh, like this um, see these now all I took all of these uh, different cities in Thailand I will then uh, just add in front here the main site O where are we now oh, this one Yeah, this one. Okay, so I just add the, the main site all in here and click add sign. Or uh, if I go to let's say this one, uh, copy the link, we just make it on the next paragraph, then paste the link, use the dash sign and uh, we can type in this is Puri Ram travel pipe Puri Ram hotels pipe Puri Ram Puri Ram hey, ladies and so on and so on you can type thousands here and then every time you just make the new line and uh, you upload the file like this uh, on the order page there where it says anchor text bind to earls okay which will be in the section over here somewhere that I will be adding it uh, in that case wherever you say search engine anchor um, Normally it will pull the earls from here and then we'll pull a random anchor text. But if we have the earls in there with the relevant 
uh, anchors, it will automatically then pull uh, from those uh, from those also. Every time uh, you say search engine anchor pulls that O, it will randomly use only one of these anchor tags and not use one of these anchor tags with that O. It will only use what has been added to the back of that. This is great because now if a search engine anchor posts other links and somebody see a link and it says uh, Bangkok travel, it will automatically come back and people click on it, they will come to the Bangkok uh, section. Or if they see an anchor text uh, from the USA search engine anchor that it posted and it says uh, Phuket, uh, then it will automatically uh, link to the Phuket section or whatever uh, anchor link has been used. This will give you much better, uh, first of all, customer satisfaction because it's going to be a real pain if somebody click uh, on a link, say, for instance, Toyota Cars, but I end up on a Honda website. So uh, it's important uh, that you try. It's a little bit extra work in setting it up, but uh, once it's set up, uh, it's, it's really fast. Again, if you just have one O, maybe you have uh, uh, a website, uh, a pet shop, uh, and um, and um, you can do it also then like this. Uh, my pet shop dot com, and in your pet shop you have uh, say a category uh, cats, uh, and then that so catch cats what dot h html or or just cats like that whatever your o is um, what you do is right at the end of your o you will then put that there the the at dash sign uh, and you can put now cats if you just want one one anchor text but if you make it more variations which in turn it's going to be very good for your SEO. You will use cats, cat food, or uh, cat toys, everything uh, that is in the cat category on your pet shop site. Okay, the more you can specify here, the better for you. Google will see it as good keyword diversity, not one anchor text sorry, good anchor text diversity, not just one anchor text cats point one thousand, use them thousand times over and over and it points to the same O. Now we'll have, you can put a thousand uh, different uh, keywords or anchors in here and they will all then point to this O but different uh, anchor variation. That is very good uh, in terms of uh, SEO and especially for the uh, Panda, uh, Google Panda updates, which is looking at uh, anchor tags and keyword diversity. Um, so have a look at that, play around with that. Um, and if you have any questions, uh, drop me a line and uh, I will try to explain that. But uh, when you submit the data pack, um, you will still need to give me your main keyword and second keyword and third keyword uh, because I will need to scrape the content with that. And you still need to uh, sorry, provide the holes down here You can either then upload the bind to bind to anchor text, and uh, I will add that section in here for bind to anchor text. Or if you just want to 
Don't, don't paste it in here with the bind to anchor text at the back of it because uh, I need to still use the the holes for the PDF creation etc and I can't use it when it's binded so I'll put a separate section here for upload bind anchor to keywords uh, anchor to data anchor to oh sorry okay um, I hope uh, you understand uh, my explanation of how it what is going to be done uh, if you have questions uh, please drop me a line and um, I'll be happy to explain so for instance this now you will save your file you can add many different more, more one one per line one per line and uh, upload this file and then I will use the earls with those anchors attached to them okay then I uh, hope this uh, tip helped you guys and uh, you get better results with your GSI search engine and data packs. Okay then, cheers, see you, bye.